Hey, hey, this is Ronnie. I have a dilemma. Yeah, this is my shove of my bike and all of my laminate flooring I have to redo my kitchen and dining room and the hallway and stuff out the door in my utility room. But I never ever got around to buying the underlayment because after I got that, short, long story short, uh, I figured, hell, if I don't spend any money for another year, I should be debt free if nothing bad goes wrong. So I'd rather wait and buy the underlayment and stuff in a year. What if I get killed before then? Ugh. Then I wasted all that money for nothing and somebody gets to buy a beautiful new floored house. So I never bought the underlayment. And uh, <laughs> so now I have a dilemma. Yeah, and I'm showing my place and all my stuff. There's two uh, window air conditioners. Uh, one I'm gonna put in my pop-up camper, one's a spare. In case my other window air conditioners take a crap, like I explained in my other videos, I'm not buying anything new or replacing Suntra or nothing until I get my house paid off and all, everything paid off in a year. Then I'll start putting money into stuff. Who knows? I could drop dead tomorrow and then have all brand new shit and then die and I'm all by myself and then somebody else gets all my new shit for pennies on the dollar. Might as well use my money to take care of what I want to do first. But yeah, here's my dilemma. There's all my flooring. I never bought underlayment. There's my motorcycle. There's my mower I had to pull out because the battery's dead because it don't have a freaking maintainer on it. And it's like 85 freaking degrees in the shed. The weather guy screwed up again. Said it was going to be 72. Mostly cloudy. Well, it's 79 degrees out. I left the drapes open. And it is like 87 in my house. So I got the AC working. Now here is my really good dilemma. You got to jump at the chance when you get it. I said I never bought any underlayment for redoing my whole kitchen and dining room, you know, where this laminate flooring is going to go. So now I'm going to show you my predicament. Ah! Well, yeah. And if you're six feet one tall, make sure you open your garage door to six feet three. I just hit my head on the door. Just clipped it. Here's my predicament. I ain't gonna open that door. I, you know, this is what we do at where I work. We do insulation for uh, food packaging and stuff that gets shipped uh, through the internet, UPS and boxes and stuff. And then the other plant does flooring underlayment. Well, this is flooring underlayment for laminate flooring. And we actually do this. We have an area in our plant that does this. And that's as far as I'm going to... And these are seconds. They're not big enough rolls to make 100 square feet or 200 square feet. Or the tape that is put on the sides and the machine cuts and everything. Uh, you know, they're seconds. They're, they were going in a freaking roll off. And before the dude went dumping in the roll off, I asked him, now, is that trash? That's going bye-bye, right? And they're actually companies paying money to have this hauled away. Yeah, okay. And well, then let them know I'm grabbing, you know, a few hundred square feet of this because I could use some underlayment and I'll piecemeal the stuff together. Now I got this. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put it. And here's my other dilemma. It's foam. It's not remanufactured. This is straight off built foam. Uh, I can't go into details about it. It's uh, eighth inch foam. Which is an insulator, and it's going to go on my floor and my double wide, which I need the radiant heat to go down through the floor to keep uh, my water lines from freezing when it's 20 below zero. But theoretically, the water lines are beside the uh, heating duct, so ugh, if I kick myself in the ass next winter, it gets down to 10 below and my water lines freeze, well, then I screwed up if I get my flooring put in now. But now i got to figure out where I'm going to put it. So I guess I'm going to have to take these second-hand rolls, you know, all dirty and been sitting outside for a week already, but it's all right. they're okay. They're torn up. You know, tape ain't right. There's something wrong with them, but ah, I'm not picky. The price is right, and when you get the chance, you got to jump on it. I don't know what the stuff costs, but hey, the price is right, and it fit in my car, so instead of just destroying it, it put it to good use. But now, my other idea is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm out of room already. I need to do some house cleaning. And some people ask me, how come I'm brave enough to show 
my home and my stuff that I have in my garages and stuff, you know, on YouTube or Facebook and let people actually see what I have, even if it ain't much. And I will explain. I have a video recording camera in plain sight up there. I have one hidden in here somewhere. I have one hidden in the driveway there. I have one hidden from those trees that shines all the way around the back side of my house. I have two more inside my house that are pinhole ones. And anybody attempts with motion sensors and infrared, anybody attempts to come to my home and rip me off, smile because you're on camera, motherfucker. <laughs> After I had a problem with that, uh, I guess we're just going to do like this for now. Yeah. That'll keep till this weekend. It's Thursday. I'll figure it out Saturday or Sunday. Smile, you're on camera. I learned that the hard way when it cost me $7,000 for the lying uh, police, county police, that tried to bust me for something I did not do and made up and would not show up their video off their four cruiser cameras that they all had running until almost a year later because they wanted one of them you know well the big boss man hates my guts i ain't gonna go into that always has because of my former wife and i ain't gonna go into that but put it this way she used to do everybody but him so there you go <laughs> that's why and uh yeah so i got video cameras everywhere infrared and they are not running on wi-fi i'm not that stupid Anybody that is intelligent, you know, you see I fly with video cameras, GPS, all that stuff, and I can, I'm waiting on my cameras for a couple of them for night flying that do not run anywhere on Wi-Fi, okay? I'm not that stupid. Ah, I'm not dumb enough to use electrical wires. Or use Wi-Fi, which is wireless, and everything I have is wireless, but is not on any Wi-Fi channels. Anybody that, you know, that Wi-Fi stuff for your cameras and security is great, but I will tell you right now, for about $120, I know how to pull up beside any home that's running any kind of Wi-Fi security, and I can make a jammer for $120 bucks that will shut down everybody's Wi-Fi for the whole damn block and just be a static mess. If you know what you're doing, it's not that hard. But I'm not a criminal, but, you know, the regular, you know, <laughs> regular thieves aren't that smart and they'll get caught. But yeah, there you go. Now I'm not running 2.4 gig Wi-Fi on any of these cameras. I'm not running uh, whatever it is, the other... I don't know what the second one faster. Now they're working on another one. It don't matter. It, it, you can't jam my shit. <laughs> and they are solar. And they are infrared. And they have night vision. So My whole perimeter. Even the postman comes and drops off a package. I know it and it's recording. It's pretty cool. I told them about it. They're cool with it. Alright. But yeah, there you go. There's my dilemma for now. But... You know, when you got a chance, if you're not a super hotshot perfectionist, look how, look how rich I am. I got all this new shit. No, I'm taking advantage of what was going to get thrown away into a landfill or burned. And uh, take my time and load it up and piece me all together because I'm not one of those, look how rich I am. I'm one of those, look how smart I am. Because I could use that money... Uh, for better things, instead of buying, like I said, instead of buying a $1,200 iPhone, I'm filming this off of an $80 LG, and it seems to work pretty damn good, and on YouTube, Facebook, nobody can tell the damn difference in the quality of the damn video if you're using a $3,000 freaking iPhone, and this is all Android open source, so I can play with all I want, and there you go, oh, and what's that? Ah, the sun! Heavens, the shadow, my shadow scared me today. I hadn't seen it in seven days. Woo, awesome. Now it's just going to get nice for two days, and then it's going to turn into a hot, miserable bee dog, if you know what I mean. 
Yeah, yeah. But it's all good. But yeah, there you go. There's my beamer. This baby's going to be out soon, and I might put on a helmet cam and just take a ride. But yeah, they just went and dumped another six inches of gravel out on the road, so... Yeah, I don't... I, I ain't too afraid to ride on it, but with this big... Well, heavy ox, it's like 500 pounds, and it'll kill you anyway. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> And six inches of gravel ain't no fun because I have to let all the air pressure out of the tires down to like eight pounds and then when I can't go over like 55 on the highway until I get to an air compressor in town and then air them up to the 35 they're supposed to be at for highway. So I need to get new tires. I'm, I'm thinking about it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, there's my baby. There's some big De Niro's in there. But I didn't buy it because it looked important for big dineros. I bought that because it will last me the rest of my life till I can't keep my balance on two wheels no more. And it will take a beating out here in the countryside. Yeah, baby. All right, there you go. I'm going to finish unloading my stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> and here's my half a heart. Said every day to do day. Yeah, possibilities. Use them. Opportunities come at you. Take them. You know, it's all good. Uh, it's really hot out here. Out in the sun, it's got to be like close to 90 right now. But I ain't crying. Uh, I'd show you, but you can't see me anyway because the sun's going so bad. But yeah, my little beater hauled it, and uh, we're going to take care of it. Yeah, and yeah, anybody ever thinks about coming out and trying to steal my inexpensive stuff I have... <laughs> You're on camera the first second you even come near this place, and there ain't no way you're going to block it or hide from it. And my stuff's so high def, I can read your license plate number and your face, your eye color. Even if you're wearing a fucking face mask like everybody does now, it's good enough quality where you can do a facial scan. And with a new, with the new facial scanning software through Android, through your phone... Just like the heat sink and stuff. You, you can make a face behind that mask fit pretty damn close. Better than any drawing could ever. Alright, well, I wasted up your time, but I wanted to show you. You get an opportunity, jump at it, man. I said this is the first day I've seen sun where it left a shadow. Weatherman said it was going to be cloudy all day, some sun patchy. Well, the sun came out at 9.30 this morning and it stayed that way. And yeah, now it's really hot. <laughs> but it's good. I'm all right. <laughs> Fuck the coronavirus bullshit. Get out and move. Wisconsin figured it out. Judge said, get the hell out. It's illegal. They cannot lock you down. Get out and move. You decide if you're fucking solid enough, your body's good enough. If you get the freaking heavy duty coronavirus flu, if you can be knocked on your ass for a week and then go and do what you do. You know, <laughs> if you're old and stuff, uh, oh, I can get into that. When I went to Walmart. There was more people in their 70s and 80s in Walmart last week bumping and banging. Everybody didn't give a shit, not wearing masks, not nothing. Like, hey, when I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I'm 70 or 80 already. Something's going to kill me. You know, every human dies. You just don't know when, you don't know how, and you don't know where. All right, I love you all. Help out your neighbors. Talk to them. If they're still on lockdown or that stupid, they're obeying that shit. It ain't going to last much longer because the courts are already agreeing that it's illegal. Whatever any governors or states say, you have to do or you can be put in jail. No, you can't. It's unconstitutional. It's been unconstitutional. Lion scare tactic bullshit from the fucking Democrats to try to destroy this fucking country.